So it's been about six years since we've been at the champion stage, since we've heard this music. Boys, three seasons ago, we were playing in the second division of German football. Two seasons ago, we were in a relegation playoff 10 minutes away from being relegated. Take this in, yeah? It's been a journey for us to get here. Champions League football at the Veltons Arena. The events of the last episode are not going to be spoken of. We're just going to keep on moving because yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know, you know. Okay, we need a goalkeeper and we are on our shortlist looking for a goalkeeper. We've been scouting, we've been scouring the market towards the end of the deadline here and we're a bit desperate. We have all sorts of goalkeepers on the shortlist. Some prospective goalkeepers, some goalkeepers in their prime and some that are on the other side of their prime, aging and a bit on the decline. But we just need somebody in goal that can catch a football. That's the requirement. Yeah, the standard isn't really too high. Now, we have a few restrictions here. Firstly, we only have a 10 million euro budget. Walter Benitez is a goalkeeper that I very much like from PSV, but we're going to have to remove him from the shortlist because he is Argentine. And another restriction we have is we cannot sign a non EU player because we have maxed that quota out. Ben Leno, German goalkeeper at Fulham. Unfortunately, his wages are crazy, like 55k. That's not really going to happen. We then have the likes of Jan Sommer, but of course we have Alexander Nubel. This guy was here at us last season. Wasn't on loan. Bayern were Bayern and we couldn't sign him permanently. They aren't open to loaning him out yet again, so we cannot get him because they've also raised their price for him. It's just a nightmare. So now we're going to try for Jan Soma, the other goalkeeper they have. Well, they have Manuel Neuer, who they never let go. They have Alexander Nubel, who clearly they don't want to let go. Will they sell us the third choice goalkeeper, Jan Soma? We're going to go in for him here. He's like 35 years old. We're hoping we can get him for under 10 million. His wages may be a bit crazy, but let's just see if we can get a deal done here. He's still very much a good goalkeeper. Experience has played for Gladbach, has moved to Bayern recently and has done well there. Gonna offer them 7 million. Oh, they're gonna take that right away. Okay, that's interesting. 7 million, I guess, would be decent. Uh, I don't know how much they paid for him, but hey, Jan Soma agreeing a deal there. We had Kelo Navas here as well, but unfortunately him being Costa Rican means he is non-EU, so we're not going to be able to sign him up either. So I guess Jan Soma would be our option for a more experienced keeper. We have the likes of Dominic Levakovic, a keeper more in his prime, would be more expensive. We then have this guy here, Levick, who's playing out in Bologna. 19 years old, a five-star weak foot goalkeeper is what we're looking for for a long-term goalkeeper, very imposing, comes for crosses and so on and so forth. We're gonna try to sign him on loan as a second choice goalkeeper. Unfortunately, we did not scout him in time. Although we do have a scout in Italy, we did not scout him in time to be able to get a full report on his stats. So just signing him on loan here is just a shot in the dark. We're kind of hoping he's better than the other two goalkeepers we have at the club. And he could potentially be a long-term option. If the loan deal doesn't work out, then he can just go back, of course, to Bologna. But do let me know in the comments if you know of any other goalkeepers who have like a five-star weak foot and can be pretty decent because Nubel was five stars. And uh, <laughs> those are some big shoes to fill, especially in like build-up play in a season where we're gonna try to be a bit more possession-based. Yeah, that's the long-term vision. But for now, though, Jan Sommer is a very, very good shot stopper. And that's the bare minimum we need. We need a guy that can just stop the ball from going into the net. Yeah, he's not great with his feet. He's not a great ball playing goalkeeper, but I think he will suffice. Yeah, a two-year deal. His wages aren't astronomical, but he is still going to have to take a bit of a cut here to move to us. Of course, we're a Champions League club, and he's going to get first team of football instead of sitting in the reserves at Bayern looking for 29k that's actually very good because the max we can offer is 30k so we're gonna give him the 29 and give him 200k as a signing on bonus and young summer well take that and we have ourselves a goalkeeper boys okay surely he's gonna be good right I mean <laughs> 
we gave the likes of Justin Hickerin a chance because you know Marcel is a guy of the people yeah he's a fair guy gave him a chance gave Farman a chance between them they conceded 11 goals in two games yeah so clearly they are not up to task new star player on paper our best player already oh getting an F for that deal they suggest we could have gotten him for 4.5 million Hey, I'm not going to cry over three Miller. We have ourselves a goalkeeper and we have ourselves a game to go and try and win. We are playing at Gladbach. Then we have Union Berlin. Then after that, we have our first Champions League game at the arena of Schalke, the Veltens Arena. Now, if you are enjoying this video and you want to enjoy it even further, do drop a like on it and please show that subscribe and some love. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. Change in formation, boys. 4-3-3. Now, we tried a 4-4-2 in pre-season. Now, the instructions overall aren't too dissimilar. We just have Gula instead of playing a front two. We have him just playing behind Ziegler as a number 10. The instructions are basically still identical. Correa at right back is still playing as an inverted fullback. We have Owean on the left still overlapping. Then we have Hudson Odoi on the right holding the width out there and we have the left winger cutting inside so basically the same instructions still high pressing a very high line playing our two new center backs in defense this is the first time we play a back four formation in a competitive game something had to change after that Dortmund disaster class Let's see if it will change for the better and we can be a bit more of a possession-based team and a bit more attacking. Oh, we get the first shot of the game there from Callum Hudson. Odoi, you can just see how high our defensive line is. It's basically on the halfway line. And of course, that's going to leave us a bit exposed to counterattacks and balls over the top. But we're going to try to be imposing, right? And go out here and take on the initiative of being the team on the front foot of course we have a goalkeeper making his debut Jan Sommer he's not gonna have much to do well it's funny actually he's facing his former club I forgot about that most of his career spent at Gladbach we're hoping that he's not gonna be too involved and it'll be a quiet day for him and our defense but let's see how we do here as Scagli loses the ball there here's Neuhaus picking up the ball and just driving through everybody okay and finishing past his former teammate Borussia Mönchengladbach take the lead here Florian Neuhaus just picked up the ball in the midfield there and Tom Kraus really should have done better Really should have done better. 30 minutes in. We have more possession and we've played some good stuff. There was just a slight moment of switching off there. We have changed up the instructions actually here on Kraus. Instead of asking him to cut our passing lanes, we've asked him to go a bit more man marking, to be a bit more tighter. With this opposite number in the midfield there, Zirgla takes on the ball and puts it in the net. Oi, I did not even get excited about that. I didn't think there was going to be a chance from that, but you should never doubt Leo Zirgla, man. Picking up the ball there just outside the box, beats two men and smashes it in off the post. Goalkeeper has no chance and Schalke are back level in the game. Thanks to that man once again. Here's Correa. Now we have a few bodies going forward here. Here's Ziegler. Ziegler playing well. Ziegler involved. Ziegler beating another man. Ziegler still has the ball here. Leo. Oh, the final ball in the end. They're not great. But we're playing well. Oh, good pressing. The Hudson Odoi gets the ball back. Goes the other way. Has a few options here. Oh, the shot there is saved. Just parried away, had a lot to do there. Back to Korea! And saved, you can just see there, our right back is on the edge of their box. That's what we get with those inverted fullbacks. 
basically gives you that extra midfielder and of course the opposition won't track him into those areas and it means we have another player available in the attack here we have them under so much pressure and we have a penalty for our troubles close to half time To be fair, that would have been a very harsh penalty to give. It got ruled out. 1-1 at the break, but we finished that half very dominant. Took us a while to get into the game. But it looks like we're going to start off this second half like we finished the first. Here's Skula. Just in the midfield there, pulling the strings. Kral to Oweyan. Oweyan in a decent position. Oweyan with a decent ball in. And the header from Ziegler is saved. Here's Hatsun Odoi. Looking to link up here with Ziegler. Ziegler gets a good ball there towards Hatsun Odoi. Cannot quite get to it though, but Ardegola will intercept the ball there. Good pressing from him through one and one. And will give us the lead. Good counter pressing. The alert. Taking advantage of that loose ball. And the intensity pays off in the end. Everybody sharp. From kickoff in the second half, we have been all over Gladbach and we get our reward as we take the lead here and we're going to make a couple of changes. About 25 minutes left in the game, we're going to bring on Otzen Edouard for Ziegler, going to keep that high pressing going from the front. We're also going to bring on Jordan Larson on the right hand side and bring on Kerim Talanoglu at left back. Also, Korea will come off for Sufal. Those fullbacks and wingers do a lot of running, bro. So we gotta keep those areas fresh. Yes, Chalanoglu linking up here with Otsin. Edward! And another shot there is saved. 90th minute. And we have to say, oh my days, that could be a ball. Oh my god, what a ball that is! Oh, so foul though. Could have put in a decent ball there, but we have done enough in what was an absolutely dominant second half. It was all Schalke, Gladbach could not do anything, and the tweak in tactics, the change in formation, the change in system, and us actually having a goalkeeper has paid off as we pick up our first win of the season of course we are on deadline there as we see some of the latest deals the rodrigo benton court to milan we have a stupinian to atleti we have the likes of mason mount to psg boys it's all going off at the moment and we have a transfer in ourselves peter huel levick new goalkeeper 66 rated Mardi how that's a bit underwhelming. But okay, we have Georges Mikau Datsy. I think that's how you pronounce his name. A Georgian striker slash winger playing out at Chelsea. Now, you saw what the new formation we're playing. We've kind of had to compromise to play the likes of like Salazar on the wing, which isn't ideal, right? Now we need a versatile player, a player that can potentially play across the front three. And we think this guy is the guy. He's a striker, which means he has naturally very good finishing, but his dribbling and his pace and his agility is not bad either. Chelsea are open to loaning him out here. And we're going to try to get that deal done. We've already bought three players, so we cannot buy any more. We've already loaned in one, so we can loan in one more. So on deadline day here, we're going to try to loan in this guy. And I think we're probably going to develop him to be a winger. Wow, they're actually not open to a loan with an option to buy. Seems like they think he has a future at Chelsea, which is fair enough. We'll take whatever deal we can get here for Mikau Datsy. We like him, we like what we see, 40%. Oh, they're gonna ask us to pay most of his wages, aren't they? Can we go 50, 50, 50, 45, 55? Yeah, they're gonna ask for 50, 50, wow. 
Okay, I think we're just gonna have to accept that. Seems like our highest paid player is gonna be a player in on loan. But whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Eight hours left in the window. Let's see if he will agree to come to Schalke. Just gonna carry on through the window here. It looks like Timo Werner has actually left the Bundesliga as the likes of Richarlison come to the Bundesliga. And he has been loaned in Georgie. Is it Georgie? Georges. George. My man George is in on loan. 76 rated striker slash winger will be very useful playing that front three formation because we need options on the bench we need players to balance the league the cup and the champions league so we need as much squad depth as we possibly can now the rest of this window is just about us not selling a lot any of our star players we're hoping that no big teams come in for any of our big players and with three hours left it seems like we're gonna be in the clear here Final hour of the deadline and boys, that's our business all done. We're just going to check what has happened. Some of the biggest deals across Europe, starting off with Victor Osman moving to West Ham. Interesting move there for 116 million. Alfonso Davis leaving Bayern to City for 105. Another player leaving the Bundesliga to Manchester City, Dali Olmo. Nuno Mensch coming in at Leipzig. Wow, a lot of big deals. Rokola Muani out to PSG. We have Mason Mount to PSG. PSG's just out here splashing the cash. Well, as always. Uh, we also have Paqueta to City. Lissandro Martinez there to Milan. That's a big deal for Milan. Alexander Isak to Barcelona. Kevin, 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 Kevin De Bruyne. Interesting. Sadio Mane has gone back to Liverpool. And just Christensen has gone to Liverpool. Boys, there are a lot of crazy moves. Wow, Antonio Rudig has gone back to Chelsea. What's going on here? Are there just like reunions happening? Well, why have actually signed Dybala? Oh, that's gonna be, it's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be tough playing them now. Romelu Lukaku in at Dortmund. Yep, we felt that firsthand, boys. Wow, a lot of big moves have happened here. Wow, Van Dijk leaving Liverpool, going to Real Madrid. I think that actually makes sense. Paul Pogba back at Man United. <laughs> a lot of interesting moves have happened here. We're of course not involved in any of the biggest deals. This is the business we have now. Starting off with Karaman. He was sold early on in the window to young boys. Daniel De Freese, our young striker, has gone out on loan to keep on developing. We signed Callum Hudson Odoi for free. We then signed Eduardo Correa for free, our second free signing. We bought in Olivier Boscali for 17 million plus Leo Grimal. Bought in Bella Kotchap to reinforce that defense for 15 million. Chalonoglu in as our last free agent signing. Sold Cisse. We then signed. Jan Sommer and finally we loaned in Levick and loaned in Mikau Datsy. That was our window. We're gonna go through the squad here and show you guys exactly who we have to at least get us till January and try to be as successful as possible. Now the guidelines of course we need to have at least 12 German players in the squad and we have 16, you have 16 German players, so we are doing more than enough. We then need to have at least eight homegrown players. We have 12 homegrown players, and of those, four need to be academy trained or from our own youth system. And those four are Karim Chalonoglu, we have Ralph Farman, we have Mehmet Aydan, and of course, the big man up top, Leo Ziegler. So we are adhering to the rules, of course, also a maximum of three non-EU players, those being Eduardo Correa, we have Rodrigo Salazar, and Duncan Amgenis. And those are just the formalities as Giovanni Lasalso of that team wins player of the month. We're going with this team here today. Same formation, same lineup that just one against Gladbach, going to be simming it, and it's a 2-2 two, two draw away at Union. Gula and Ziegler there getting the goals for us. Ziegler actually getting us a 82nd minute equaliser. Okay, boys, we'll take that draw and keep moving. It's time for the main reason we've been excited for the season, yeah? Getting into this competition was an achievement. But that's not where it stops, yeah? We have made it very clear from the moment we qualified that we're not just here to make up the numbers, we're here to be serious. Now, our group is a serious group in and of itself, right? We have the current Italian champions, Milan, who won the league last season. We have Athletic Club Bilbao, who finished fourth in La Liga, I believe. We then have Slavia Pra. Now, 
Milan are clearly the favourites, right? And you'd think it's between us and Athletic Club. Thank you that Bilbao are a bit better than us. But we can definitely go in here and throw a cat amongst the pigeons and ask some questions and be involved because the man that sits in this press conference right now is unbeaten in European football. Yeah, from his time at Roma to Schalke, he has not lost in Europe a full season in the Europa League, which he won a season in the Champions League, which he was knocked out on penalties. It doesn't count as a loss, by the way. He did not lose. So we have a guy that's a pretty serious Don in Europe and of course in cup competitions getting us to the Pokal final last season so in knockout competition Marcel is a serious guy boys he really is now I'm not saying he's gonna go out here and win the fucking thing I'm not saying that because I would be crazy I would be delusional but I'm saying we take it one step at a time Firstly, let's start off with getting a win in our opening group stage game. Then let's start to try to qualify. If we have qualified, let's try to top the group. If we do top the group and make it through the round of 16, who knows, mate? It's not got football, yeah? But this is the first game of the Champions League for Schalke since 2018, okay? It's been a long time, boys. It's been a long time. I think we're in 2024 now, so it's been about six years since we've been at the Champions League, since we've heard this music. Boys, three seasons ago, we were playing in the second division of German football. Two seasons ago, we were in a relegation playoff 10 minutes away from being relegated. Take this in, yeah? It's been a journey for us to get here. Champions League football at the Veltens Arena. It's about to get serious. We're about to bump shoulders with Europe's elite. Now Slavia Pro aren't really Europe's elite and this is probably the one game where we will be favorites in, in this group. Now let's go out there and do something right. We're keeping the same lineup, we're keeping the same formation that has worked so far that put in that brilliant performance against Gladbach. Let's see how we do and let's see how Leo Ziegler does in European football for the first time. The guy that absolutely dominated the Bundesliga last season. Can he carry on that form into the Champions League, into the big stage, into the big time? We will see. Jan Sommer, of course, in goal, our new goalkeeper. Hasn't kept a clean sheet yet, conceded one against his former side and conceded two in that simped game against Union. Would be nice if you can go out here and put in a great performance. But of course the main thing and the most important thing is getting the three points and that would be ideal, that would be the perfect way to start off this group stage. Yes, Korea picking up the ball, lifting his head and playing a perfectly placed long ball there to Salata who just loses it. That's another weapon we have in our locker there with playing a midfielder at right back. He has such good long passing. He can always find our left winger with one simple ball. Boscadli alert there to the ball in the box. His crawl. Ball over the top there to uh, Tatsuno Doi. Good touch from him. Gets away from his man. Kalam Hatsuno Doi plays in Ardogula who picks up the ball towards the edge of the box. And his shot is saved as AC Milan take the lead there against Athletic Club. A decent start from us here. But here comes Amir Prat. Good play there in the midfield. Alert is Kraus and Kral. Here is Kral. Salazar. Ziegler. His first involvement. Play to Kral. Kral. Good switch there to. Oh, what a ball that is from Hudson Odoi on the volley. Ziegla, we're playing some good football, boys. Good opening 10 minutes. Dominant on the ball, creating a couple of chances. We just need that goal now. Yeah, Ziegler picking up the ball. Looking for a little one two there. Odoi will find him. Ziegla driving into the box. Leo Ziegla! We're putting it away! Tigano first! Champions League goal! His first Champions League goal! And it just took about 30 minutes! He's here, boys! 
Listen, Germany know about this guy. Now the world are gonna know about Leo Ziegler. Picks up the ball on the wing, quick one, two, picks it up, drives into the box, and a hell of a finish to give us the lead against Slavia Pra in the Champions League. Oh, good tackle there. Now we need that press. Let's get that press on. Let's get that intensity going, boys. Press these thons. Oh, good play there from Gunnar. Just steals it off him. After Gunnar, through here. And well, get away, it's a pen. Get it's a penalty. Fantastic pressing, good intensity, good endeavor. Wins the ball back and smart as well at the last moment. Just takes it away from the keeper, committing the keeper, winning the foul, winning the penalty. And a chance for us to double the lead here through Leo Ziegler from 12 yards out. Big moment. And Ziegler is the man for the moment. He always is the man for the moment. Leo is here, boys. 2-0 to Schalke. Penalty in off the post there. Keeper goes the wrong way, but Ziegler, mate, even if you went the right way, that was a goal all day long. Five minutes from the break. And this has been an unbelievable performance from us, from every aspect, from the intensity point of view, from a quality point of view, from a possession retention point of view, from a defensive point of view. This has just been perfect, boys. But let's keep that up. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh, and Correa will win the second ball. What's that? What's the foul there? Unbelievable decision there from the ref. We're winning every ball, boys. We are winning every ball. Ziegler's picked it up again. And Ziegler threw one of one. Oh, Ziegler's on a hat trick. He could have completed it right there. Leo. That was fantastic play. Fantastic quick fit from him to create that space, but just couldn't finish, which is something we don't say too often about Ziegler, but he has been on a rampage today. But everybody has been. We win another aerial duel there. This time Ziegler is tackled, it's gonna be half time. It's a tuna lead. It's a game we have absolutely dominated. Probably our most dominant half of football since we've been here at Schalke. And Leo Ziegler is at the spearhead of that attack. He's on the hat trick. And the way he's going, bro, he's gonna be picking up the match ball. Really our first test here to defend a bit which we pass quite easily and here's Rodrigo Salazar still playing on that left wing position good feet from him finding Gula Gula looking for the back heel there to Ziegler Ziegler that's a, that's a terrible tackle ref have a word here there's a tackle from behind come on do it Fuck off. he's not gonna do it just a yellow card there. Thankfully, Ziegler isn't injured or anything. So we're going to take off Callum Hudson or Doe here and bring on our new signing, Mikael Tatsi. We're going to put him on the left move. Salota over to the right. And we're going to play Edouard just behind Ziegler. Going to look for a more direct player, a more physical player, just off Ziegler there that can be able to drive with the ball. Here's Ziegler picking up the ball there on the edge of the box. Oh! To complete his hat trick. <laughs> Boys, this guy, man, this guy, bro, I'm telling you, we all know about him. Like now he's doing it on the big stage. That ain't even the edge of the box, bro. That's like 25 yards out. Leo Ziegler picks up the ball and completes his hat trick in such an emphatic way to make it 3-0 and he will actually be coming off here. Edward can move to strike and we're gonna bring on Kedira, move Kral a bit further forward and now just manage the game. A few more fresh legs in the team with the likes of Chalonoglu coming on as well. We're in the box here, another chance. Now ball with Mikodatsi, good cut back there. But the shot from Kral is saved. And we're heading into the 90th minute and it's still only Schalke. The crowd are still on their feet. 
chanting away as we make it for you. And it's our boy George. Georgie, yeah, Mikkel Dotson, the guy from Chelsea, we just signed, scores on his debut, his first few minutes for Schalke. Terrific header from him there. That's actually an ability I did not really sign him for, but it's good to see that we have another guy that can be an aerial threat, and we just bring on Sufal here to rest up Salazar. Rises high, gets his goal on debut in the Champions League, and the arena of Schalke is rocking, bro. Listen to this place. 4-0 is as we run out 4-0 winners could we make it five here's Edward oh they're just playing it dirty now they're just desperate to get out of here they have absolutely been assaulted bro they were not expecting this I wasn't expecting this nobody expected this what a performance that is! Oh, Edouard just trying his luck there from the free kick, but it's gonna be 4 0. A 4 0 emphatic victory. That man, that man on his Champions League debut picks up the match ball. Is there a better way to announce yourself to the rest of Europe? Is there a better way to announce yourself on the big stage that you oh, are a serious guy? Yeah, to those who disrespect the Bundesliga. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, that performance absolutely blew me away. It definitely blew Slavia Pra away. Nobody expected that. I didn't either. That was by far the best performance we have ever put in here at Schalke. The most complete performance we've put in. From the intensity, to the drive, to the work rate, to the quality, to the way we kept the ball, to the way we moved the ball, to how clinical we were in front of goal. That was the perfect performance and a master class from Marcel Kopin Savage if I have ever seen one on the big stage we make an impact it's a bit weird that we win 4-0 and we're not top of our group because guess what Milan have also went out there and smashed Athletic Club 4-0 as well. I guess they go above us because maybe they won away from home. In the league, though, it's not looking too great. We're in ninth. And yeah, we're kind of still low down there, though. We're only four games in, so we haven't played a significant part of the season. It really isn't a good look seeing that Dortmund are top. But this has been a very good episode for us. Three games, two wins, one draw. You know, not the worst results in the world. And we have a couple of winnable games coming up next year, culminating in the next episode in that game away from home against Athletic Club. I believe their stadium is the Estadio San Mame. I could be wrong, but we're going to Spain, boys. We're going on our first away trip in the Champions League. We definitely have to pick up some form in the Bundesliga, though. We want to, you know, balance this out and don't throw all of our eggs in one basket. But the change in tactics have clearly helped and I'm feeling much better. Our season has officially started today. Whatever we saw yesterday was not us, yeah? We are ourselves today. Schalke have arrived. Ziegler has arrived, Marcel is fully on job and it looks like it's going to be a good season. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. Drop a like on the video if you haven't enjoyed it and please do subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate that. I've been Cookie Crusher. I'll see you guys next time.